what I want to talk to you about now is I want to just uh, go through something we're going to go over and over and over and over again in the massage. And these are some major mistakes that massage therapists do. Uh, I've seen it over the years and their careers get cut short, unfortunately, because they get injured. We're going to be stressing this, uh, and I just, but I just want to touch on this at the moment, all right? You're going to notice in our massage sequence that we do very little work with the thumbs. The thumbs are small joints, but you'll see massage therapist after massage therapist doing lots of thumb circles and thumb over thumb. This will just shorten your career. These little joints and tendons and ligaments just can't handle. Now, it's fine if you do one, one a week, but once you start doing fantastic massages and you start getting that phone ringing, it's going to be very hard to say no, and that's when it becomes important because massage is very hard work. It's very repetitive work on the body, so your body mechanics have to be great, okay? And so that's why I'm going to be talking about this as we go through the massage sequence. But just for now, what you do not want to be doing, and you'll see this on massage video after massage video, is using muscular effort. Now, there's a very big difference. Muscular effort is what uh, you'll see people using that. You see how they're using their arms, using their arms like this. You can see they're all bending at the elbows. All the shoulders and the muscles of the arms are doing the work. We will be doing something completely different. We will not be using muscular energy because one, it's tiring and will set you up for injury very quickly. We're going to show you how to use body weight and weight transference, okay? Shifting your body forward and back so that your body's, you're going to leaning on the person, your body weight is going down onto that person. Remember we talked about that low table. That's why we're having the low table. So when we start to work in with our forearms, with our hands, you're not going to see a lot of muscular movement going on through here. These joints, either if they're, they're straight or they're bent, it doesn't matter, and we'll go through that as well, but you won't see the movement. So let's say this is, here's the difference. There's, I watched a massage video, a tutorial the other day. Here's the person doing this massage like this, okay? One, it's bad for the body. Two, it's tiring. And three, there's no uh, pressure in this, okay? You have to exert all muscular effort, muscular force to get the pressure that you need for a client, okay? And this is why one of the reasons a lot of spa massages are what one of my clients uh, used to call a skin polish. Very light, very insipid little massage and it's one of the, the, the biggest mistakes a lot of massage service uh, do. Not enough pressure. One of the reasons is they're not using their bodies properly, okay? So, body transference, weight transference, body mechanics. We're going to lean our weight onto that. You can see this driving through that arm. We're going to go through this, as I said before, but to touch on this, and then we're going to transfer our weight. So then, it's a powerful stroke. We're not using as much energy, and we're saving all of our joints and our muscles, okay? When we go into kneading, we're going to go from side to side, all right? This way we're going to go forward, all right? Forward, side to side. It's not this, which again, you'll see, you can look on YouTube and you'll see the person kneading like this. All the shoulders and arms are doing the work. No, you'll see as we do it, we are using weight transference. And again, it powers through. You get this lovely power. The difference is night and day when it comes to the massage. This weight transference, using your body, leaning over the client, so that way, you're putting your weight over them. You're saving your own body. It's, and again, this is important when you start doing six massages a day, which I guarantee you, once you start churning out fantastic massages, this is what you're going to, if you want to, be able to do. And you can do it day out, like my massage therapist and myself. We do six massages a day, if need be, all right? If we get tired, we don't. I'll go through this as well about listening to your body. But for the moment, just know, we're going to be doing weight transference, using our body. The other thing, you're not going, we're not going to use much of our thumbs, all right? We will minimize that so you don't have thumb problems uh, because, again, it's a major mistake. A lot of therapists do. That they get taught to use a lot of thumb work, thumbs over and over, thumb circling, thumb presses, this sort of thing. Very hard on these little joints and it's very tiring and you get very sore hands and thumbs, okay? And it'll set you up for injury and tendonitis type injuries and, and inflammatory conditions. We don't want that. 
The other thing we're going to be looking at is we're bending at the hips, okay? So when you start, start to see that, it is not rounding the lower back, okay? Again, the difference is night and day. You are hinging at the hips, all right? This way, you are saving your lower back. If you round your lower back like that, doing this, then you're going to be in worse condition after the massage than your client was, okay? You're going to be sore. So what happens is you round your lower back, then you round your upper back, then your head's forward, and your shoulders then get internally rotated. In a nutshell, it's all bad. The difference is what we're going to be teaching you is you're going to be wide across the chest, okay? You're going to bend, keeping that inward arch, the neutral spine, Inward arch, the hips are bent here. So when we're doing this, they're bent here. You're using your body weight through there. Okay, so that's opposed to that. All right? Wide across the shoulders, so you're not crushing up these shoulders. You want it nice and wide across the chest here. So broad across here, keeping that inward arch, and then your body mechanics are much, much better. The other thing we're going to show you is we don't want any sharp angles, okay? We don't want you pushing down with a sharp wrist angle, that sort of thing. We're going to keep those angles minimized because, again, really bad for your joints. If you, again, start getting regular work, you need to have all of these things really grooved in. I'm going to be teaching you this, but for the moment, just remember, inward arch, weight transference, body weight, not muscular effort, uh, and no sharp angles through these joints. We'll go through it further, but now you know this is going to make a massive difference to your massages.